Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be my November empties. Products that I have used up during the month of November. So, um, not a whole lot, but enough to sit here and do probably a 30 minute video. So anyway, we'll get started. Deodorant, the Dove Clinical Protection. Would definitely repurchase. I like the Dove, the Degree, and the Suave. Those three are my favorite. From Clinique, I have the Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes, and lips. This is really good for taking off the really stubborn mascara or um, eyeliners that you can't get off. Um, I always get these during Clinique's bonus time, so I haven't had to ever, ever purchase a full bottle of this. But if there ever came a day that I had to, that I didn't have any type of um, makeup remover for just the eyes, I would definitely repurchase that. I do like that. I've used it for years, but like I said, I've never had to purchase it. This guy, now yes, I have had to purchase this. This is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion Number no. 3. I have used this ever since my daughter was, has been, was 5 years old. She's like 24, going on 25 now, so for almost 20 years I've used a clarifying lotion from Clinique and will definitely repurchase time and time and time again. The Murad um, Essential C Cleanser. This was in a gift box and I did like this. I like this a lot. I use this at night after I took off all my makeup. Then this was my face wash and I liked it because it had these little um, vitamin C beads in there and once the water hit and you started massaging around they kind of exploded and then you had a little bit of a vitamin C treatment on your skin which I think vitamin C is very important for um, skin discoloration, sunspots, that type of thing. So I did like that. And it wasn't irritating and it wasn't drying and it didn't irritate my eyes either. So that was a plus. A caviar alternia, alternia. It's not alternia, it's alterna caviar anti-aging replenishing moisture shampoo. Anyway, I like the conditioner better, but then I do the shampoo. I like my Kerastase shampoo better, but um, this was good. It's not a bad product. I would definitely recommend it if you have dry, coarse hair. Some makeup remover wipes. I talk about these every month. Not going to go into any more detail. I have some cotton clouds. These were dupes for the Shiseido. Um, cotton squares. I do have a video and I'll put a card up here somewhere where I talk about the difference between the two and price wise and if they really are dupe. But I did finish those. This product here is from Tarte. It's an eyelash primer. I would not repurchase this. This was horrible to work with. Um, it was a very, very thin primer and it was very hard to get any of it onto your lashes to even do anything and no not gonna waste my money on that um, I have a bath body shop I always want to say bath and body a body shop shower gel this is the honey mania just one of the little smaller sizes the four ounce sizes no this is actually 8.4 ounces anyway I liked it but I think my husband liked it even better because once this was gone he wanted to know if I had any more of this he did I think he probably used it more than I did he liked to use this to make him a bubble bath so he liked the smell of it because it wasn't like a girly smell but yet it smelled good so yeah so I probably will be repurchasing one of those just so that he can have his bubble bath all right, and then this product I received in an influencer box, and this is the Ski2 or SK2 Facial Treatment Essence, and this was a very, very nice essence. I will, I will give you that, and this little bottle lasted a very long time because it didn't take very much of this product. The issue that I have with this product is the cost. The cost of this is ridiculous. It's over like $100 for a bottle of this, and there are so many other essences out there now that are just as good that are way cheaper than this. Um, probably at one time, 
this may have been one of the only essences that we could get here in the States, but the Korean skincare has just taken over and there's so many, there's so much opportunity for us to get really good Korean essences now, like I said, that are just so much cheaper than this. So anyway, but it was fun to have it and it was very nice, but I definitely going to purchase it. And then I have the Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Eye. This was supposed to help with all the fine lines and you know, help reduce the wrinkles. I didn't see any of that. Um, and it wasn't hydrating enough to even plump anything up, so I definitely won't be getting a full size of this. This was a little sample. I don't really know where I got that at. And then another eye product was from Strivectin the 360 tightening eye serum and this is supposed to work in um, two to four weeks no two to eight weeks you're supposed to have tightening and visibility of the eye area and reduces fine lines I didn't see any of that either so I've just come to the conclusion that I'm just better off with getting products that is supposed to, that's just for moisturization and then because the mo moist that I have up here, you know, the plumper is going to look anyway. So, okay. Um, a face primer by Corez, and this is the anti-aging primer. And um, again, this was in a kit or something. Gosh, I may have had this for a while because I think I got this when Sephora was actually still selling Corez. But anyway, this was a nice primer, especially if you don't like silicone in your primer. Um, this doesn't have any silicone in it, but I just feel, I think probably the, um, the Too Faced um, Hangover Primer is a little bit better than what this one was. Then another little sample size of the Drunk Elephant by Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. Um, this I just felt like was not enough hydration for my face, um, especially going into the winter months. And I, I didn't really care for it. It took me a really long time to use this because I would use it one night and then would have to, you know, I couldn't use it like three or four nights in a row or so my face would have been way too dry. It was just too thin of a product. Now maybe if you have combination skin where you're a little bit more combo, more oily, it might be a really good moisturization for you, but for me, no. Oh my god. Um, I'll check MD D Puff eye pads. These were in with some stuff that was sent to me from Octoly. And um, yeah, they were okay. They weren't the best, but they weren't the worst. So, but they were okay. And now the rest of what I have are um, sheet masks. And I'm not going to go through all of them. I just want to do a little bit. I have a couple of eye ones here from the Sephora Rose Eye Mask. Now, I have found with these that these work best when they are layered with another mask. So what I would do is I would put these on my eyes and then I would put a sheet mask over the top of it and then do it that way. So, but once, I have several of these, but once these are gone, I'm not gonna repurchase these because they, they were okay, but they weren't the greatest. So, um, this guy right here now, this I really did like. This I just got in my VIB Haul. It was in a kit. I get a lot of kits so that I can try a lot of different skincare. Anyway, this is by um, Too Cool for School. It's an egg cream mask and it was a hydration mask that has coconut extracts and egg extracts in it. And it was a single use ultra microfiber sheet. It was a very thick um, sheet mask and it was a, um, a creamy essence. And I just really, I really, really, really prefer, I am finding the sheet masks that have a cream essence in them or are soaked in a cream essence 
because it's a little bit thicker essence and I just feel like it's just more hydrating and just more feels my skin likes it better but I did like these I liked these a lot so if you're been at Sephora and you've been thinking well what kind of uh, mask I want to get into masking but I don't know what kind to get try some of these these are good I do recommend those another one from Sephora that was good that I just got during the VIB sale was this right here and this is the primary raw and it was a two-step um, sheet mask. Um, first of all, in this side here, I had a little cotton swab that was down in there, or yeah, like a Q-tip, like a giant Q-tip. And you took it out and you swirled around into the product here, which is your, your AHA milk peel. And you just moved it around your face until you got all the product out. And then you put your sheet mask over the top of it and the sheet mask actually has essence in it also and then you put this over on top of it which was the silk milk skin fit microfiber mask and it was a really nice exfoliation treatment i really really did like this and it wasn't irritating but yet i could definitely tell after i took it off that you know my skin was brighter and it looked really nice and um, I did like this. And when I ordered them, I ordered I think four or five of them during the sale. So I'm glad I got more than one because I really do like that. I really do. That was good. That was a good sheet mask from Sephora. Okay. Um, blah, 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 this guy here. Oh, now this I really did like. This I, I'm pretty sure that Annie sent this to me. And it's the Mediheal. Mediheal, as a matter of fact, I know she did because she sent me a box that had these. I used this, this mask, the day of my son's wedding. Um, it wasn't until the evening. We prepped for it pretty much all day. And that morning when I got up, not that morning. Did I do it that morning? Yes, I did it. I did it that morning before we had to go get hair and makeup done or before we had to go and, and decorate. Anyway, whatever, whatever. It's this guy right here. It's a little eye mask. But I liked it because it wasn't just an eye mask that was just for around here. This was an eye mask that was for the whole area of your eye, under your eye, your eyelid on the top here, on the side here. This little guy was wonderful. I loved this. I loved this little guy. And um, that's just a Kleenex. And my husband, he thought it was the funniest thing because it was black like this, so I looked like a little bandit running around our hotel room. So yes, I did like that. That was a good, that was a good one. I definitely want to get some more of those. So definitely thank you. Thank you, Annie, for sending that to me because I really, really did like that one. Definitely so. And then here's another one for Mediheal. Mediheal is a really good line. I had not tried this line of sheet masks until she sent these. She had been talking about them. And then she sent me some. And this is the IPI Light Mask Ampule Mask. This was really good too. And the, I mean the packaging is just so cute. But don't let that fool you because there for a while, when I was seeing these little cutesy mask packaging like that, I'm thinking, okay, that's more for like young girls that don't have the skin care skin issues that I do no it's cute on the outside but what was inside was superb really really did enjoy it let's see what else do we have here that I like and that I like a lot oh this little guy Alicia Koi I think is what this brand is and I'm pretty sure that I ordered this off of Wish Trend. But this is the Snail Hydrogel Mask. Oh, this is so nice. Mmm, this is nice. Definitely nice. And it was one of those um, two-part masks where it was up here and down here. And it was like a gel type mask. It wasn't a sheet. Mm, really, really good. I bought like six of those and I really do like those. I'm definitely going to get some more of those for sure. And let's see, I think I have room to talk about a couple more. Oh, here's another one for Medipil, Medihill that I really did like. And this is the dress code red. This one was really fun too. This one I wore the night before my son's wedding. And then the eye ones I did that morning. But this was really fun. So 
I'm glad I had those. They really helped my skin to look really nice and fresh and just really pretty for the wedding and for the pictures. And as soon as I get some pictures, um, I will put some up on Instagram and then, of course, Facebook. And then the last one I'm going to talk about is the SQN Jewel Sissy Mask. And this is the Wrinkle Moisturizing Mask. Again, this was ordered from Wish Trend. Looks like this here. Again, just a really, really nice, very luxury, luxurious feeling mask. And one of the benefits of this mask was it was a little bit different than any mask that I've used. And the fact that um, it was it was just one sheet, but the bottom sheet was long, so it kind of came down to here, and then it came up, and it had these little ear tabs that you hooked on the back side of your ear to hold it, so it kind of held it up, so it was like it was a lifting type mask. But yeah, and then it kind of got this area down in here, so it was good. I liked it, and I have some more of those, and probably when those are gone, I will repurchase. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today on my empties. I hope you enjoyed. And what else did I want to say? Oh, I wanted to say I'll be doing my finale of my Project Pan here pretty soon because I'm pretty much done with all the items that I had put into my Project Pan that I'm going that I know I'm going to be able to finish. So I might as well just do an update, let you know what I finished up. And I actually have saved all of those containers, so we're going to kind of do like a really quick run through and a roundup and just kind of let you know what I thought of everything. And I'm kind of thinking about doing a project pen again for next year. And if that's something that you would be interested in doing with me, let me know down in the comments and we can maybe make out some details with it on what, on how many products we want to pick and or if we just want to do it at random, whatever we want to do. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.